Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to fix a broken um, 3D file in Blender. Uh, this is basically important if you model in Blender. Um, if you have a broken STL from somewhere else, you can also uh, import it into Blender and fix it. But uh, you probably would be better off using NetFab Basic and do quick fixes. Sometimes you can't really do every fix in NetFab, so you still have to open it in Blender. This object here is a 3D model that was created in Blender. Um, first of all, you can follow me what I do by watching these little icons down here. You can see now, for example, I press the middle mouse button to tilt around in the 3D view. Um, now I would press the shift button and the middle mouse button to tilt around and um, you basically can follow my hotkeys um, by watching down there. So first we have this object here, and um, we want to look at the mesh. So we go into edit mode, and here we see the mesh. The mesh basically is um, built off of little points that are connected with these lines that are called edges into a mesh. And then um, between um, minimum three of that lines is a face, which is this gray surface here. It all, it's all different faces. Um, the face makes basically the surface of the 3D model. Um, to check first if a file is um, uh, broken, you do select and go into non-manifold and you see oh, you have here some problem. Let's look into it. Um, basically down here I have three different buttons that let me decide if I want to use uh, face mode so I can select um, individual faces or I select edge mode to uh, select individual faces or I go into vertice mode to select vertices with other points the mesh is made of so let's go back into edge mode um, here was the problem just click a little bit around and there's a long edge that I grab Basically, you can see, okay, this, there is a hole in here. Let me try if I can grab this better. Yeah, there's a hole. You see, that it's open in here. It can look through the mesh. Um, so, I first, what I do, I take this long edge here and I delete it. Um, yeah, hitting on X and then I can decide what I want to delete. I want to delete the whole edge. Um, so, now we are here with this hole. And um, yeah, we have to create a new face. And first of all, we have to close this line here because it doesn't follow really the topology of the mesh. And um, what I'm doing here right now, um, I use the. There's two different ways to create an edge, or yeah. um, there's the knife tool that we use here because I'm passing a face on the way. And I want to cut through the face and create a new edge through the face. If I would just um, select the two vertices, in vertice mode, I would just select this vertice and select the other vertice by clicking, by holding shift and clicking it. Um, and now connect this boss, I would connect an edge, but this edge would go on top of this face here. So um, I still would have a non manifold, so bad STL. Anyway, um, let's check the sides first. Um, go to select nothing. And we go down here. There's the other end. Grab it. Looks okay. Let's look from down here. Grab it again. And well, that doesn't look really good. Uh huh. So let's go here. When you see that, there's an edge going from here to here, and there's another one going from here to here, and then to here. So this one edge, there's one edge too much. It's basically this one going from here to here. So what I'm doing, I have this all moved now, I press escape, so it has its original place again. Go into edge mode, and I try to catch this one long edge here. I think it's this one. Or have it. No, it's not this one. 
And that's a bit difficult. So we just try our best. Aha, uh -huh. also this point is not connected here. Oh no. It's a bit uh, tricky sometimes. So what we actually want to do is I mean, brought is more. So here we go. Grab this edge. Yeah, this one. So we delete it. Hitting X again, and then delete the edge. And now we go. To, we have one here. Yeah, there's still one too much. Um, we have the right one. Looks like. Um, hit X and delete edge. So, this looks okay to me now. Well, there's something here. Mm. Also doesn't look really okay. Um, well, you always want to have go lines going through. So, you do now here. Aha. Uh -huh. Mode. Uh -huh. And on the other side, right. So, okay, just to move the face here. Um, yeah, something is a bit confusing. Just, you know, you have to go around, look from different angles. I just saw that I moved another face in here. That's not really a problem. I just go to select three different edges. I select the first one, I select the second by holding shift. Select. Oh, it's four faces, doesn't matter. Oh, wait. First, we go to make this one clip here. Um so, no. so I have to sele um, select the two the two vertices, hit Alt M and this is to merge them. And I say I want to merge at the last, so it's merged here in the middle. So now we go back into edge mode. I select my three edges and I create a face. And so this is a good topology now. Um, up here we do the same. Um, shift again, select the other two. And F, hitting F, creates a face. Um, yeah. So, missing one face here right now still. Select this one, this one. We're going on. This one, this one, this one. Make a face, and now we still see that here everywhere it's going this ring, and just in this place the ring is uh, not continuous. So what we do, we go into vertex mode and hit A to select nothing. A basically selects either all or nothing. Um, so we can now select single vertices and we have this too. Uh, so if you would now merge them, um, no, we don't want to merge them because this would make one. What we want to do, we want to create a new edge between them. Um, to do this, we use a, new, a tool that's called the knife tool. It's basically a tool that cuts through the faces and creates a new edge um, through the face, not on top, through the face. That's what we need. So I hit K for the knife tool, select the first vertices, and I select the second vertices, and as you can see, it made a third point in the middle because it recognized there's another edge going through, and now we just hit Enter, and it created our 
edge. So what we do now, it looks okay this part. We go again to select no manifolds and probably find some more. Oh yeah, there are quite some more in here you see. So I'm just going to fix them um, the same way basically. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to figure out what's the problem really. But um, yeah, many times we have just like really, you see here, it's really, um, well, basically way too much faces here. Um, going to fade edge mode. Can delete that one. It's another one we can delete this edge also. Um, you see, we can do it also. Um, yeah, we go to do this. Um, let me see. Just look how the others are made. Oh, this one line too much. Um, wow, yeah, this is okay. Um, we can create a face along there. Let's look how down here how it looks. Aha, uh -huh. you see that? There are some solely vertices left over. Um, they're not supposed to be like that. You know, a vertice basically is always to have minimum three vertices, um, two other vertices around them, or three, to create a face. So when you connect this vertex with this one, and this here, you can't connect the face. It would miss like one vertex here, or yeah. Anyway, if you have like a vertex along a line that just is there in the middle, you just merge it with the rest, so you have one line. And um, before we do this, we check the end. If this is alright. La, doesn't look so good also. So we zoom out. On to the bottom again. So I have to get a little bit used to all this moving around. So here, move this done. Mm -hmm. See, there's a face that basically goes nowhere. don't really see anything here, we go into wireframe mode and there we can see better and um, go back uh, in virtual mode right now so this is go along here First we merge them because I really can't see anything. Now here, here I am. So I select the first one, select the second one, select the third one, and I just hit Alt M again to merge. And I merge it at the last. It means the more um, down one that I clicked last, and now they are all connected. So now we grab this thing again. Ah oh, no, now this is already fixed. Alright, so it was just really these two vertices that make a problem. So what we do with this one here? I guess we also go to merge this one. Yeah, and then we go back into face mode and create face here. To close the mesh. It's okay. So if you go now again and to select no manifolds, it should be okay. Yeah, you see, it's fixed. 
So we just have this place here left over, this is the one little place here we look after into. Um, this one doesn't look so good. Let's go to grab this one here. Oi, 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 oi. That looks really crazy. Um, I guess we can just go down, zoom into it, and don't go into vertice mode. We have a vertice here. Well, they are not really connected. But uh, first, I guess we can remove this edge here. Well, don't be so scared to delete things because you can always fix it later. Um, Blender is quite utile in fixing this kind of stuff. Also, you can always go back with the um, command set key. Um, in Windows this would be Windows set or control set. Um, Macintosh it's the command key set. So if you do something wrong, just go back. Um, well, yeah, we are still here. Uh, it looks odd to me. So basically this face is also too much. How I see this? Um, well, basically, I see that it's going face along here. It's supposed to be there. And all this stuff around it is not supposed to be there because we just need one. Yeah, this looks good now. This one doesn't look good yet. There is some faces here that shouldn't be there. Um, go to edge mode. Just delete them. Okay. Uh -huh. So, this and this needs to be connected. Uh, I got here. Alt M, and now I connect at first because I want to connect it to the other side. So I click first. Um, there's still some edges too much here. Uh, uh, to say, yeah. right, exactly. There's one edge here. Um, well, you we can just delete the vertices, uh, delete with X again the vertices, and the edges are gone too now. Um, yeah, just let's close the holes. Create a face and go back here to the part that we actually were in. So, vertex mode, grab that. So, we can just merge this tool, Alt M again, at the last now, and you see. They are merged and all the faces are merged in the edges, so if I grab one edge here, it's basically all the same. Alright, so let's look again. Select non-manifold. Ah, there's still something here. Um, go to smart. Grab that one. Okay, so I guess we don't need this one here. Just to leave it. Um, this was wrong, so if you can go with Command Z, um, I'll just delete the edge. Alright, select no manifold. Still have some here. Wait, wait, wait. This is a really broken file. 
Um, usually, if you have so many things that are broken, it means that something in creating this file was not really done good. There's not a problem. Let's see here, it looks okay. Aha, there we have the. There we see some edges. Not supposed to be there. Where they go? Let's have a look. They go really far. Over here. How we get them out? Mm -hmm. I need to edge mode again. Try to grab this one. This should be the one. Let's see if it goes really through here. So we need this word of edge. There was another one behind, I think. Looks better. Select no manifold. Here is no manifold. Ah, it's face open. Okay. Sometimes you just really don't see that stuff. Um, go into edge mode, and I'm just closing the faces right here. Also, one edge too much here. And the thing is, well, this is really broken. Um, this one deleted. Yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's all in virtues. Look. Okay. This face here. Yeah, it's all together. So there was still a hole here. No. Basically, we actually would have to recreate the topology a little bit, but we're just going to fix it right now. Um, I mean, if it's so broken, usually we really rebuild the topology of the mesh, but this will take much longer. Um, select no manifold, and here yeah, you see it's all okay, except that little corner here. But I think we have seen enough, and I hope it helps you a little bit by fixing your mesh. Um, see you next time. Ciao.